Hey everyone. How do you train your dog to stay off the couch? You can see Nikki's laying here on a mat. Now, if you want your dog on the couch, great. Let them come up, let them cuddle. Or maybe you want them to come up only when you give them permission. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Or maybe you want them to lay on one specific couch or ottoman or chair. We can do that. Or maybe you don't want them on the furniture at all. That's okay. Teaching your dog to lay on a mat is the best way to teach your dog to stay off the furniture. Teaching your dog to lay on a mat, go to a mat, is an easy exercise. And I'll put the link in the description and also at the end of this where you can watch a video on how to teach your dog to go to his mat. Nikki's already laying on her mat because she knows this is a great place to be. When you first start out, take some of your dog's dog food, sit there and you have to be close by. You put the mat right down close to where you're sitting and drop down a piece of dog food. Now in the beginning, you're gonna have to do it quite frequently. When you're first starting the training, you put down five or 10 pieces one at a time. Now I would click because that will tell Nikki that this is exactly where I want her to be. So she's on the mat, I do a mouth click, and then I'm feeding her. That will tell Nikki I want her to be on the mat. After putting down about 10 pieces, then you're going to toss one piece of dog food or a treat off the mat and encourage your dog to go get it. So after about 10 pieces of your dog eating their dog food or treats on the mat, toss one off and tell your dog, Nikki, take it, good girl. As she goes to get the treat, not too far away, and then you say, go to your mat and you're gonna put another one down on the mat. So you're really leading the dog back and forth. Eventually, you'll be able to tell them to go, to go to his mat, or some people call it place. You can send them to their mat from a longer distance, perhaps even from another room. So I'm gonna give her a couple more. Now, Nikki likes her mat and she'll lay on it for quite a long time, waiting for me to give her one piece. So I'm gonna click. That tells her that I'm happy with what she's doing, or you can say yes before you feed. That's also will work. Help your dog to know that you are happy with them being on their mat. Now, the longer they stay on the mat, of course, and you reward them, the better place it is and the less they're gonna be on your furniture. After about five times of rewarding your dog, then take a piece and tell your dog, take it. And as soon as they've picked up the treat, it's go to your mat. Your dog in the beginning will come back and stand on the mat. Then they'll sit, then they'll lie down. And you can watch TV or work on your laptop or on your phone and just do this exercise for a few minutes. When you finish practicing the exercise, then pick up the mat, put it away so your dog doesn't run over to it and sit on the mat expecting you to reward them. So that's for the dog that you don't ever want on your furniture. You put the mat down and you work with them. If you have a dog who it's okay for your dog to come up with you when you give them permission. What I do is I put down a blanket. This is a special blanket. And when the blanket is on the couch, good girl, Nikki will come up and sit on the couch with me. She knows that when the blanket is on the couch, she has my permission to come up and sit with me. There you go, she went back to her mat because she didn't get treats up here. She might get cuddles, but she gets treats on her mat. So that's how you give your dog permission to get on the couch, to be on the furniture with you. Now, if you want your dog to remain longer on the mat, then give them a calm. Let them enjoy working on a stuffed filled Kong and that will decrease the number of treats you'll need to give them and let them 
believe that being on the mat is a really wonderful place. They can have part of their dinner sitting on a mat with you sitting beside them. Once your dog learns to lay on the mat in front of the couch, then they will go there automatically and lay down every time they come in to this room. If you're enjoying this video, please press the like button and share with your friends so that more people can learn how to train their dog to stay off the couch. You can always drop down a treat while your dog is working on the Kong, which will, in your dog's mind, make the mat even a better place. You can keep your dog off of all the furniture, or if you want them to be on just one specific chair, then encourage them to sit in that chair. That's fine. Praise them. Tell them how wonderful they are. But then put your mat down and teach them that that's the only piece of furniture that they have your permission to sit on. There are many uses for the mat exercise. Check out the playlist, teach your dog to go to his mat. Also a fun video of my dogs laying on their mats as I am exercising and riding my bike. You can use the mat exercise to prevent your dog from getting close to the table while you're eating dinner. Lots of fun ways to use the mat exercise. And in this video, we showed you how to train your dog to stay off the couch. Thank you. Bye from Joyce and Nikki at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.